Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star, okay? And I'm here with a prophetic dream. In this dream, I was hanging out with a friend. Like, we was just literally just sitting there chilling. And um, eventually, we end up surrounded by some cops. And we end up having to run. Like, I don't know why, but whatever. Um, we are running through these apartments. We end up meeting someone. And um, when we meet this person, somehow we keep running and we end up in a desert, except the desert is filled with lava. Like, it's straight sand and, like, little dips of lava. Like, um, almost like, what's the name of that movie? Um, Maze Runner, that movie. Once they got out, um, when they, is it the Maze Runner or is it the other one? I don't know. They so close. Divergent. One of them. One of them, they ended up getting out of where the place they were contained and it was like a desert filled with lava. Okay, anyways. The scripture God sent me to is Jeremiah 32, 17 through 25. I, Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. You show love to thousands, but bring the punishment for the parents' sins into the laps of their children after them. Great and mighty God, whose name is Lord Almighty, great are your purposes and mighty are your deeds. Your eyes are always open to the ways of mankind. You will reward each person according to their conduct as their deeds deserve. You perform signs and wonders in Egypt and have continued to them to this day in Israel and among all mankind and have gained the renown that is still yours. You brought your people Israel out of Egypt with signs and wonders by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and with great terror. You gave them this land you have sworn to give their ancestors, a land flowing with milk and honey. They came in and took possession of it, but they did not obey you or follow your law. They did not um, do what you commanded them to do. So you brought all this disaster on them. See how the siege ramps are built up to take the city. Because of the sword, famine, and plague, the city will be given to the hands of the Babylonians who are attacking it. What you said has happened, as you now see. And though the city will be given into the hands of the Babylonians, you, sovereign Lord, say to me, buy the field with silver and have the transaction witness. Okay. So I feel like um, with this dream and this scripture, first things first, um, the first thing that stood out to me is how God is saying, how he's saying in this scripture that... Um, Okay, let me go back. You gave them this land and swore, you sworn to give them to their ancestors, but they did not obey you or follow your law. They did not do what you commanded them to do, so you brought all this disaster on them. Somebody, God instructed you not to hang out with some specific person or some specific people. Or it's something that God asked you not to do. God instructed you to avoid this. And um, it's like either you are thinking about doing it or you have done it, okay? And now um, you are seeing certain things fall apart around you, okay? Um, you know, you may not literally, like literally be in a desert filled with lava, but I feel like the lava and the desert kind of represents the state that you are in, like because of the decision you made. You made this decision, to make amends and be friends with people that God told you not to hang out with, regardless if y'all were doing anything bad or not. Um, it's just, I feel like um, sometimes we don't see the intentions of people. Sometimes we don't see um, what they truly intend, you know? And I feel like in this situation, whomever these people are, this person is, they actually have um, kind of sinister intentions are they in reality? Um, it's like whatever they are doing, they, they are doing something behind the scenes that you don't see. And regardless to if they are actually trying to do something to you or not, they have um, they have the 
when you allow them to come into your space, some of their ways will start to rub off on you. Some of the things that they do, um, you will start to do it. And it's not like you're a follower or anything specifically, but I'm just saying, and for some of you, you may just be the type of person that you kind of blend in, you mold into people when you meet them or when you are around them. And in general, as us as human, that's kind of human nature. When you are in a group of people, you start to mold into like the people that you are around. And God is trying to keep you away from that. Okay. Um, and for another person, God instructed you to purchase something or God has instructed you. It's something that you have to do. And it's something that, um, it may, it may, it may be something that, um, you are trying to purchase for somebody. So in another instance, this same friend or, you know, whoever this friend is for you, they may be trying to sell you something. And in this transaction, God is also warning you, okay? Not only did God pro is not only is this a warning to not um complete that transaction with them, but I feel like it's also a warning to ensure if you do complete this transaction with this person, make sure there is someone to bear witness of what is going on and how it is going on. Basically, like um I would say basically like you don't want to complete this transaction um, and then they don't do their part or and then they try to back back or they try to backtrack on it and say that you didn't pay them when you did or you don't want it to backtrack and you don't have any proof of anything. So um, if you are planning to do some kind of business with someone um in a sense you, god is instructing you to get a witness and get a contract and ensure that once you have paid up or once you have um done everything that you need to do um everything goes the way it goes smoothly okay that's what god is saying because while this person may have the purest intentions right now you never know how they feel along on down the line and you know god is always Sending his prophets to prepare you for the worst because you never know what someone's um, intentions will be in three months, six months, a year from now. So you don't want to be in a position to where someone has um, the rights to take something that you paid for because that's not fair to you. So whatever the agreement is, ensure that the agreement is um, signed, Some in some cases notarized. Um, and ensure that you have someone that is looking over it to see that everything is done correctly, okay? However that fits. But, you know, that's the message, okay? So to someone, God asks you not to hang out with certain people or God asks you not to be around a certain person. Um, carry on with the promise that you made to God, okay? Carry on with that promise and understand that if you don't, you will end up dealing with a lot of turmoil just off of the fact that you disobey God and this person can influence you to do things that you're not supposed to do. This person may have intentions on trying to pull you backwards. This person may have intentions on trying to pull you down regardless of how they come off. Um, you don't know what their true intentions are. And for the person that's making a transaction, are you looking to buy land? Are you looking to buy whatever, a vehicle or whatever? It doesn't matter what it is. It's uh, some kind of big purchase. God is saying, have the transaction witness, okay? That's literally the part that I highlighted too. In the Have the transaction witness. Make sure that um, there is somebody to witness this, this transaction to ensure that everything goes smoothly and everything goes the way that it's supposed to go. And um, yeah, that is literally the message, okay? Um, yeah, because uh, and in this situation with both cases, God is just trying to ensure that you are okay. God is trying to ensure that you come out on top. Because um, you never know what someone may have in the back of their head. And you never know what kind of gossip or what kind of um, 
malicious intent anyone around them may have because in some cases this person could possibly have the best intentions for you but they allow other people around them to sway and change their mind or to make them do something that is evil in the eyes of god okay and then god gonna have to come down here and put his foot down on somebody because you didn't listen okay but regardless okay just um Take heed to this message, and that is the end of the video. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.